Inside Tennis with the Cause is brought to you by Firkins Automotive. Find it at Firkins. Hi, tennis fans. The Cause here with another half hour inside the world of tennis. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Adventure comes standard during Jeep Adventure Days at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. New 2019 Compass, $1.99 a month. Or your choice, new Grand Cherokee or Wrangler Sport, just $2.99 a month. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. Expect more, save more when you shop Perkins Mitsubishi in Bradenton. New 2018 Eclipse Cross, all-wheel drive, $1.89 a month. Or get 0% for 72 months on new 2018 Eclipse, Allender, and Allender Sport models. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. Hi, I'm John Isner, and you're Inside Tennis with The Cause. Hi, tennis fans. Terrific is always to be with you. Had a wonderful time for the last three and a half weeks covering the U.S. Open and the many events leading up to it. Fantastic covering the 50th anniversary of the Maureen Connolly Brinker Foundation and the Little Mo Internationals at Forest Hills, the Dick Stockton West Point Military Clinic, the U.S. PGA World Conference, the Tennis Industry Association Hall of Fame, and the FILA Media Party. So let's get it launched at the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York. Lennis, you had the distinctive honor of playing Little Mo herself on the court. What impactful and indelible memories will always be there about playing that role? Well, first, I've never been in such good shape after training for, for, for three months. Um, it was the people involved, and what happens is, since I was playing Maureen, and in training, and then in lots of press afterwards. Everybody who knew her, who encountered me, approached me with such love and such admiration for me. So I received all of that because it was Maureen. It was just, it was wonderful to come from the acting world into the sports world and be so welcomed. Um, and it was just so clean. Would you pick up the script? When were you reading that you knew that had to be you playing that role? Oh, wow. Um, it was pretty early on. Uh, it was during the scenes with Jasmine, with her mom. And that's, uh, that's a good half hour of the beginning of the, of the movie. And it, they were just so moving. Glennis O'Connor is just a really special person, as I know you know from talking to her. She really, she loved mom. Uh, the more she got to know her, she loved her more. And she, she just, to, to come here and take a time out of her busy schedule, it was just so wonderful. And we are so appreciative of her doing that. And we're just thrilled to hear her fun stories <laughs> about actually making the, the film, uh, Little Mo. It was just, it was really a terrific evening. You know, cause, I just think mom would be thrilled, absolutely thrilled, overwhelmed thrilled to see that for five decades, her vision and that of Nancy Jeffets to develop junior tennis, yes, but also to create a foundation that emphasizes good citizenry. And what I mean by that, sportsmanship, kindness, giving back to the game, an attitude of gratitude, fair play integrity. That's what we preach to the kids, as well as, of course, being a good athlete. And that's what would have meant so much to mom. And I'm just so grateful that that's how our foundation has flourished. And that is the core message of our foundation. And mom would be so thrilled. Well, what I would say is, I think the biggest thing for my grandma, besides just, you know, her mastery on the court was that she was able to balance 
life and as my mom said her priorities were right with taking care of her family but also being a champion so it shows to never be content and always be in a state of wanting to better yourself. We've been fortunate to know the Brinker family now for about 15 years and I am so blessed that to know that Cindy and Brenda embody so much of what their mom had instilled in them even though she passed away at a young age but her determination her wonderment of the world her willingness to give back is absolutely true in everything that I know about Cindy and Brenda this certainly is another part of tennis legacy and tennis history the family has made you family. David, what does that mean to you and your family to be part of this historic, ongoing legacy of Little Mo? Well, it means a lot. It really does. We met the Simmons when Bob was, was ill, and we became instant friends. We visited him down in Dallas, and I saw a nice silver platter in the, in the cupboard, and I picked it up and it was a Wimbledon trophy. And I was quite amazed because when we started our, our journey with them, which was spiritual as, as well as physical, um, we didn't know the background. We just met them on a trip to Alaska. People to people. People to people, one on one, and we bonded instantly. And we were able to spend a lot of time together while Bob was alive and and since, and see William grow up into the fine man that his father would be so proud of, and that we're proud of as aunt and uncle, he calls us, so. It's been 30 years of my life. Next year, I've just loved every bit of uh, being a part of the Marine Colony Brinker Foundation. It's been my, my life, really. My, my achieved every goal I could possibly imagine, you know, with tennis, working for the foundation and being around kids and, and impacting lives. What's a cool kid like you like about the Little Mo? How cool is the Little Mo? This is the best tournament I've played so far. It's like a new learning experience. The best matches are when you lose. You can always learn from your mistakes and good sportsmanship is the best. It's a good first experience for me because everyone was really nice and friendly and it was a good experience meeting new people. I think that it's very competitive here. Like a lot of other tournaments don't bring in as many competitive opponents for me. And I like that I'm being challenged a lot by my opponents, and that I'm challenging my opponents as well. It helps you learn. It helps you get experience. Um, it's, it's a good experience for, like, your first tournament or something. It helps you learn a lot. Um, you get to meet new people, and you get to make friends, and it's a lot of fun. Um, playing tennis and meeting new friends and shaking people's hands. Let's shake hands ourselves. Congratulations. Thank you. It's fun. Um, I love to win trophies. Um, and I make a collection. So I make new friends. And it's fun because the trophies are cool. It was really good. It was a great experience playing different players like from different states. And I had a lot of fun this week. I like how we um, have to play with other people from different countries and from all around the world. Also, the um, 
sportsmanship stuff. Um, <laughs> like, um, all of my friends are here, and like, it's really fun when you win, especially. But it's also fun because like you learn about sportsmanship, and like, and you can get all sorts of cool prizes and learn about uh, Maureen Connolly. And I like the historical place. Well, it's actually, it's really good and it's really fun because I get to play with other people around the world. It's really a good time to practice your skills of what to improve on and to build up your sportsmanship. And I like everything about it. They all love tennis, just like me. It's great, isn't it awesome, and I play people all over the world. You just learn from what you do, um, and you just try to do it better next time, or, or take what you did in that situation and try to use it in another situation f so it can be useful. I get to play kids from like Germany, Lithuania, like all countries around the world. I'm so grateful to be able to play tennis here, and I love my parents and all the people who make this happen for me. Uh, there's Luke Jensen, which is a doubles French Open champion, and he strung one of my rackets. So. No! Are you going to mount it on the wall or play with it? Play with it. Did you hit extra well with a Luke Jensen strung racket? Actually, I just won a match in the semis with it. Catching up with this guy, Luke Jensen, and always a joy to catch up with a Jensen. And you're always the better half of the Jensen, so I lucked out today. You've done it all, certainly in the juniors, in the NCAAs, major mark in the Grand Slams, with the doubles, with Murph. New venture in life, the director of tennis here at Forest Hills. What are you enjoying most about this new experience, new venture, Luke? To be honest, it's it's working with the membership every single day. We don't have golf here. It's a pure tennis experience for the person who wants to play on all surfaces. We have grass courts here. We have red clay. We have green clay. Hard courts. We have this beautiful stadium where, you know, the U.S. Open started in 1968. Arthur Ashe, Virginia Wade won here. And to protect that history, to, to instill it into our young players, to have all these amazing events. Serena comes out, Roger, Rafa, Djokovic, uh, the legends come out, you know, Davenport, uh, Monica Chalice, all these great players come out for outings during the U.S. Open to celebrate our history in, in the game. And to be part of it is still wonderful. The place is so sacred. It's so sacrosanct, almost like a church. You're almost like an ordained clergyman <laughs> out here. So you better be on be Well, you gotta wear the behavior. tennis whites. We got a dress code and everything. Pure, pure, pure. That's right. And so uh, we do that over the summertime and then it can change during the winter. But it, it's really respecting our game. The 126 years uh, we've been in, in existence when we started way back when, 126 years ago, cost $10 to join the club. $10. I could have been a member then. That's right. If I pass the rules getting through. And then think about Arthur Ashe in 68. He wins here. He gets a $26 voucher because that's his army per diem because he's an amateur. So it, it's amazing all the little nuances. Behind court seven, Dr. Reyes, he used to how, basically park Jimmy Connors' car in his driveway because Jimmy liked to, you know, quick entrance into the club. Bjorn Borg had housing here. Chris Everett used to play here. Tracy Austin was 14 years old when she reached the quarterfinals of the main draw. So there's history every single day, and the members remember it, have lived it, talk about it. Now that we have Luke Jensen coming in as director of tennis, oh my God, you can't believe the energy around here. He's an unbelievable communicator, and not only with, with the public and tennis players here, but the staff here, you know, tennis and food and beverage, he's unbelievable. It's really nice having players all over the world coming here. So great being here with the history of the game. Well, well, well. All right. Well, have fun with those mixed doubles. Thank you, Graham. Great to see you. Lily, thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. And it's a happy day for you. Tell us about the happiness. How big of a thing is it for you winning the Kindness Award, Paulina? Well, I'm really happy because I never really won the Kindness Award. And this is my second year. And last year I did not get anything. But now this year, this is my third trophy. 
and little Mo, and I'm really, really happy. She had grace, she had leadership, and she had passion for the game, and she had respect on the court, and she looked after others, which Shannon always did. Rowan, I have always looked up to you, but guess what? I've got to look up to this guy a bit more. U.S. Open, and what's happening at the U.S. Open for you, boy? I'm tossing the coin for the men's U.S. Open final. No, what is that like? My goodness, I'm so excited. Thank you. Uh, it's really like, I was really surprised when my mom and dad told me. I was just like jumped up. It was really exciting when they told me. Oh my gosh, do you know how many million people around the world are going to see you make that coin toss? Are you going to practice? I'm going to practice a lot. Being here on the 50th anniversary is quite um, something. And um, so um, I've had a great, great day today, yesterday, meeting everybody who's um, uh, connected to Maureen is amazing. Um, this is a beautiful uh, organization. Uh, we're experiencing a good experience watching the new generation of tennis player come into life. I love to see her out there competing and having fun and you know just giving everything she can every single shot. So I really appreciate that. And it's a very good spirit. It's a uh, you know, it's all the country all together, all the kids from everywhere all together. So I think it's good for the, for the peace on the world. Well, it's uh, at the iconic Westside Tennis Club. Extremely motivational, very motivational. I mean, all of these kids work hard. It's lots of hours of practice. And um, I think adults can learn a lot from the kids. So I like watching everyone in motion. It's beautiful. The speech that Cindy gave with the whole connection she had with her mom, even though her mom passed away when she was 12. And that connection is what we're trying to do here by bringing our kids here is to make memories and build memories and to get closer to them. You know, I didn't realize that during the Little Mo Internationals in New York, you can also go and see the qualities of the U.S. Open at Flushing Meadows. They don't charge you for tickets. You get to go out there. We get to see Nadal warm up, Del Potro warm up, Sharapova warm up, and we get to see a lot of the matches for the qualifiers. It was very impressive, and uh, the atmosphere is just fabulous. So thank you, Little Mo. Well, uh, the players here, I get a chance to see them playing singles, doubles, mixed doubles, and the, and the games vary, and the fact that they have mixed doubles in this uh, event for, for eight years old, to 12 year olds, give them a chance to socialize with friends and to play doubles with friends. And that's very important that the kids have a chance to enjoy their tennis experience. And they certainly get it here uh, at Little Mo. Well, the, the time these kids spend with their parents right now, chasing tennis balls, having mom and dad watch, they're gonna remember the rest of their lives. And uh, those are the fondest memories I have of my parents. Our 50th anniversary, and, you know, what better place than the stadium court that Maureen Connolly won her Grand Slam on in 1953. You, you just can't beat it. Perkins family, you've been with them from day one. They've been promoting tennis from day one, Nick Bollicieri. Well, I think they help with a lot of local events. Adventure comes standard during Jeep Adventure Days at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. New 2019 Compass, $1.99 a month. Or your choice, new Grand Cherokee or Wrangler Sport, just $2.99 a month. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. I'm Mike. I'm Bob. You're inside tennis with the cause. Tennis fans, thanks for staying with us. Hope that you enjoy the remainder of the show. Tennis fans, this guy earned our respect as one of the greatest American tennis players in his generation. Now he's earning respect through T3 Tennis, thanking our troops through tennis. Winner of 24 ATP singles and doubles titles, reaching a career high of number eight in the world. Stockton played on five Davis Cup teams. Now Stockton and his Blue Sky Sports Foundation are sharing his tennis acumen and passion for the sport by providing tennis clinics to military bases throughout the country with his T3 program. Once again, American tennis legend Dick Stockton 
made military families happy with his latest Boots on the Court Military Clinic at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Matthew, tell me, how much fun did you have today, and what did you enjoy? Um, I had a lot of fun, um, and I, I really enjoyed learning and improving on my backhand because I needed a little help. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I really, I really like just hitting my backhands and forehands. <laughs> hitting the ball really makes me feel great. Um, I really enjoyed playing King of the Hill. Tennis makes me feel happy. I like doing the race. I really had fun with tennis today. Tennis was a lot of fun today. I enjoyed trying the race. I really had fun whacking the balls. Rita, and how wonderful of a day was it to be out here as a mother watching this take place? Oh, I had a wonderful time watching them. It's impossible not to smile the whole time. For kids just to be outdoors playing, as opposed to inside doing something else. Coach Paul Peck, boots on the court day here at West Point Tennis. What's that mean to the academy? What's it mean to the tennis program? What's it mean to the community? Well, I think it's a great program that reaches out to uh, the community of military bases. I know that they go to multiple military bases around the country and they provide these free clinics for the kids and I think it's great exposure for our, our sport and also you know it, it's I think it's great for the the community itself to have an activity they can go to and something for their families and for the cadets it's an opportunity for them to also give back to the community because they enjoy working with the kids and, and so forth. Oh it was so much fun sir it was a really good time and um, being able to be out here with all these children is just an amazing experience. A noted tennis family, a Dole High tennis member, comes to West Point for her tennis. Stephanie, you've yes, only sir. been here a few days, but you already have the feeling what it's like being at West Point. What's it like? Here at West Point, um, I've learned a lot so far. We were here throughout the summer at basic training, and we got to come a few times a week to play tennis, which was really nice. So we just started our daily practices and it's really cool joining such a great team. They won the Patriot League last year. And I've, I've always looked forward to college tennis, so I'm really excited for it. But I'm really glad that I'm here. West Point is a great place. And I'm excited for my four years here. Well, this is my third event and uh, my first time at West Point, And it's just a thrill beyond belief to see all these people coming out to participate. He has talked about this cause and uh, I am more than happy to give back to a sport that has been my life. What does being up here saluting our military mean to you personally? Oh, it's indescribable. I mean, this place, the facility is unbelievable, and the people are so nice, and what an honor to be able to give back a little bit to people that have sacrificed so much. Oh, it's, um, I'd have to say, very gratifying. Um, to be able to give back in this way to the service families, very special feeling for all of us who participate. I've literally known Dick for about 50 years now. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm happy or, happy or sad to say that, but uh, as a kid, he was obviously an idol of mine, and I'm just so fortunate to have had him become a friend of mine. It's really a, a, a lifetime dream come true, and most importantly, I think he, uh, is one of the sweetest, most humble, nicest people that I've ever uh, come across in my lifetime. Uh, and dedicate his time and energy to something like this just speaks to him in volumes.
tell you, this is my uh, first official lesson of tennis. I learned tennis on my own, and this is just fantastic. I'm learning things that I had no idea what I was doing before. And um, I'm really enjoying playing with people around my level because it's good to learn. I just think the sense of humor. Like, everyone's laughing. We're having a good time. <laughs> enjoying getting my shots looked at by people and getting some advice. It's just fun to be fed balls. I mean, I just play against a wall most of the time, so having somebody at the other end of the net is helpful to have. Yeah, this is actually our third year. We got to do two years down at McDill Air Force Base and now here at West Point. So, so what you... it's fantastic. Uh, the people are great. The atmosphere is great. Wade, what is a day of tennis? Boots on the court with Dick Stockton mean to a guy wearing the shirt called to serve. Well, I got this shirt from my wife because she really got into playing tennis when we got to West Point. So that was the name of her league team. And so her love and passion for the sports was so enthusiastic that, you know, it really got to me and said, hey, you know, I should go out and start playing some tennis too. So I did Boots on the Course two years ago. That was really my first exposure to tennis. So here, two years later, I'm playing pretty regularly. And it means a great, lot, a great deal to me to pick up a lifelong sport like this. So it really means a lot to have the opportunity to have professionals come out, share their insights, share their tips, share their time, volunteer their time to help me out. Steve, as part of the sports program here at West Point, what are you most excited to have this clinic out here with Tech Stockton? Yeah, this clinic has been great for uh, you know all the kids that came out, definitely, and then also um, you know it gives our cadets a great opportunity to give back. Well, just everything about a day like today is just it's so uh, so exciting, and you get such a, a great feeling of, of of having these folks out on the tennis court with us, and you know a lot of the especially the kids have never played before, and and uh, when we can see them smile and have fun and stick around all day and want to hit more tennis balls and. Uh, it's 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 just it's so rewarding. It really, really is, and it's just this program has we've been doing for six years, and it is just so much more than we ever ever expected. And we are just uh, hoping that uh, things will keep going our way, and we'll be able to keep it going and even grow it more. Tennis fans, great to have you with us on Inside Tennis with the Cos. We love our sponsors, and you will too. Stop by and see them. Until then, remember in tennis scoring, love means nothing, but love of the game means everything. Keep alive your love of the game. Love you, tennis fans, and we'll see you right here every Saturday, 1230 on SNN. Inside Tennis with the Cos has been brought to you by Ferkins Automotive. Expect more, save more. Find it at Ferkins.